Hey, listen, I got to ask you before we uh, jump off. What's your favorite meal to cook? Do you have one or is oh, it yeah. like change daily? <laughs> no. Once I get hooked on a meal, it becomes a consistent thing in my life. Okay. Um, <laughs> one thing that I've been doing that I actually learned from my 86 year old grandma who, who has taught me a lot about cooking mm -hmm. um, is heating up. I take miso paste. Um, and I take like a spoonful or two and I put it in hot water and I drink that and I have miso in the morning as like a broth. And I found that like starting my day off with like some, even bone broth or anything like that, but the miso paste especially has like the savory hmm. seaweed taste, um, that my body like yearns for in the morning. So I start with that and when I go into more like concrete foods, I, my go-to is fresh sourdough bread. I also bake sourdough bread and I work with a um, baker too occasionally. Her name is Carla and it's called apartment two bread in Clinton Hill, Brooklyn. And I take bread from her or my bread and I slather it in avocado. I saute kale with a little bit of nutritional yeast and lemon, which makes kale taste very good. <laughs> And I put that on the avocado toast and then I'll have some like grass fed uh, or pasture raised um, eggs mm. and just have that on the side. And then a little bit of sauerkraut for probiotics. Amazing. And very balancing, Ayurvedic, healthy fat, yummy, delicious meal to keep me going throughout the day. So I eat that almost like four times a week. <laughs> nice. I mean, yeah. if you have something you like, if it's nutrition, if, if you know it works with your body, there's nothing wrong. And I, I think like a lot of people are like, oh, it's repetitive. Like some people just like eat chicken, you know, all day and everything. But it's how you prepare it again. It's that you yeah. do it with those like the kale with the yeast. I would have never thought of that, you know, never done it that way. I'm going to try that out now. But but it yeah. is I think those are the kind of tips and tools that you can learn from having a personal chef around. And again, not having it 24 seven, you know, needing to put in so much. But this is an investment in your health. This is an investment in something that will make you feel better, work better, connect with people about all these things. So there's a huge ROI. You know, I've said this before, uh, Dr. James D. Antonio posts this, like cooking is the greatest ROI overall, like health, everything. Like if you know how to cook, it's the greatest ROI. What is the, what is ROI? Oh, return on investment. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm business background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, what you put in, you get back so much more. So there you go. Okay. You just learned something too. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, food is, when you when you view it as medicine, it will alter everything in your life. Yeah. For me, at least, so. And, it, the, and it should be, everyone should view it that way. So, yeah, it's the groundwork. It's the foundation for all the other things, practices, relationships spheres that we enter it's how we it's our body's metabolizing it and we need it to be high vibrational as much as we can and um and dealt with a lot of love well said well said my man